Hi guys, so just another video on a great tool for on-page SEO. It's called PageOptimizer.pro. Um, you'll hear a lot of people talking in the industry about POP. This is what they're talking about. Um, it's made by a guy called Kyle Roof, who is a very intelligent SEO guy. Um, and this tool is like a mini Quora. Um, it doesn't give you as much data as Quora, but it's a great tool. If you're looking to compare your website, your on-page SEO to that of your competition, um, <coughs> it's very low cost. So the pricing for it is very cheap. So you can get it for pay as you go, ten pound um, for ten reports, or thirty nine pounds, and you get unlimited websites you can put through it. Um, so very simple and easy to use. Um, you see there's testimonials from a lot of different people on here as well. Um, so, as I say, there's tutorials and everything else on the website itself, but I'm obviously highlighting it to you guys and just want to show you what it looks like. So, what you do, it's got a simple and easy to use interface. So, you've got your projects, contact, user guides, some videos, and you can get the done for you service. Um, obviously Kyle recommends that you do watch the videos before you go and play about with it, but it is very simple and easy to use if you guys are looking to, or you frequently use tools. Um, so I'll just start off by clicking view project. So if I was to Google scrape box tutorial, which is a search term that I want to write, or have, you know, I do rank for. So the top guys, Matthew Woodward, you've got myself and you've got seomandu.com underneath. So if I want to see how well that page is doing, um, you know, compared to the other guys, I can run this through the tool. Um, now I've already done the analysis um, already because it does take a couple of minutes to work the tool. Um, but then it comes back here saying, that I've got a score of 31.50%. This is the score on how optimized my page is in relation to my competition. Um, so I can view that and it'll obviously go through there and tell me that I've got the keyword in the URL, the meta titles, the header tags, paragraph text, image text, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and that is something that you can use to make sure that your on-page SEO is on point. Um, very good for local SEO. You can obviously see I've got a lot of um, uh, things to be doing with this particular um, page. It does rank well, so you know it's, it's not a competitive search term. But you know, compared to the other guys that rank well, I can increase the number of exact keywords in my header twos. Um, increase the, the number of keywords in my paragraphs and stuff like that as well. So there is stuff that I can be doing to make this page better. And obviously uh, you can look at, this is the exact word, scrape box tutorial. You can look at variations and obviously start to look at the variations that your competition's got as well. Um, and you've also got word count. So reduce your word count. Um, is telling me they are, but yeah, so it's got current word count and it's saying target word count. So I could reduce the word count on there, but it's a fairly big tutorial and I don't really want to cut any of it out in case it's useful to people. Obviously, what you have to bear in mind is even though you're using these tools, you know, if you have to do more content, then so be it, you know, especially when it comes to a tutorial. And uh, so I wouldn't take that part. Um, as gospel, but certainly um, the on-page tweaks, you know, this is a very good tool to get your basic on-page SEO on point. And as I say, what the tool does is compares this to that of your competition. So if I want to add a project here, you call it what you want. I'll just put my name in, um, HTTPS, um, and I'll put my website in there. So I'll just show you um, how this works. So you can add the project. Click OK. Oh, well, because I've already got it, it's add a page, sorry. 
I should be doing. So page names, so if I wanted to target a, a new page and check the on page of it, you just put the page name in here, put the path of the page in here, the keyword that you want to, to rank well for. Um, you've also got fetch keyword variations and you can click US, Canada, UK, South America, Australia, and Europe. Um, so you've, this is all the kind of options you can fill out here. You've also got competitors. You can put in up to 10 competitors here. Um, and obviously what the tool does is then goes away, compares everyone who ranks, um, or every one of these competition that you put in compared to your page, and then says whether you've got, you know, this, that, or the next thing um, compared to them, you know, whether that's header two tags or, or content or image tags or whatever it may be, and it'll tell you what you need to do to match that of the competition. So a great on-page, you know, competitor analysis tool, very, very cheap. And I'm sure that this tool will continue to develop and stuff as well. You know, I'm sure other features and stuff will be added to it. But I thought I'd highlight this tool because doing on-page SEO, um, you know, there's a lot of information out there and there's a lot of uh, varied opinion on what you should and shouldn't have. Um, but I think this is a, certainly a great tool if you're doing some local and, and low-level SEO. Um, there's much debate out there with people saying that, you know, with the kind of higher, more competitive search volume, it's not the same algorithm that, that you know, you can work on a local level. And some of these things may not uh, help on a kind of big, big competitive uh, project, but it's certainly working a treat um, at the lower end of the market, lead gen sites and stuff like that. So have a look at it and see what it does for you. Thank <laughs> you.